So this is my dirty, naughty, atrocious hair. I haven't washed it in I don't know how long and it's absolutely a mess. It's super important to me that I'm transparent with you guys about what my hair looks like, like when it's crazy so that you can see it be a struggle to get it to look how y'all see it. So now I'm in the middle of my actual wash. I've already shampooed my hair and this is the conditioner. This is literally what my hair looks like in the process of putting conditioner in it. It looks horrible and nasty, but it's just what I have to go through. I'm about to detangle it with my um, Denman brush that I use all the time to detangle my hair. Detangling my hair is no joke. Like, it really be hurting sometimes. Like, I be wanting to cry. Like, I be feeling like a little girl. I just got done washing my hair with conditioner and shampoo. While I am in the shower and I have the conditioner in my hair, I detangle my hair. It is like, I'm like <clears throat> detangling my hair is literally like the worst part of doing my hair. Like it takes so long, it hurts, and it's just like I. Like I remember when like I was a kid and like my mom used to like be detangling my hair and like I would cry and she'd be like I'm gonna give you something to cry about and she'd like hit me with the brush and stuff like that and it's just like you know it really hurts okay like it really does. <sighs> I gotta take in my little moment of venting about how the detangling process sucks. This is what I use to detangle my hair. This is a Denman brush. Um, I find it to be really, really helpful with detangling my hair because of the type of bristles that it has. Um, and it's really long lasting. It's pretty durable. It's not cheap either. Um, like compared to other brushes and combs and things of that nature. But I really love it and I find it to be super, super helpful um, while I'm detangling my hair. And so this is afterwards. Like, trust me, when I was in the shower, it was not this easy just so you can like kind of see my hair like how it looks um normally like i know like a lot of curly girls like they'll use a wide tooth a wide tooth comb or they'll use a detangling comb but i found that using this works better for me than using a comb so since my hair is done being detangled let me just do a little turn so you guys can see Okay, you wanna make sure that you're adding your products while your hair is still wet. It's super imperative um, to it's super imperative that you add your products in your hair while it's still wet so that it can form the shape of while using the products. I'm going to be using the same products that I used in my Refresh Curls video. So if you haven't seen that, you can check that out. It's the exact same products. Um, the only thing, the only thing that's gonna be different is that um I bought this that I'm actually going to try. It's by Garnier Fruitis Curl Shape. It's a defining spray. It's a defining spray gel. I'm gonna try it out just to see um, how it works. Just because I have its sister partner. Because if you remember before, I ran out. I bought some more, and they was having a sale. So you know what I'm saying. I was just like, let me try both. Okay. Anyway, so I bought more. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the first thing the first thing that you want to do while your hair is still damp you want to use your conditioning leave-in spray
with that, we're gonna put in our leave-in conditioner. <sighs> like I've told you on the other video, um, I feel like any leave-in conditioner that you know that your hair likes is perfect enough. Um, just as long as you're putting in some kind of leave-in conditioner for your hair. As with curly hair, you know how it'd be like, it's forever getting dry. Y'all see my hair at the beginning of this video, like, I was looking crazy. I'm like, that's like, oh, wear a hat all day, every day. your hair anymore <sighs> brushing your hair is going to change the curl pattern that you already have going on Trying this product, what I was most nervous about was the fact that it might make my hair crunchy since it is a gel and its consistency, like how it feels, is very gel-like, especially compared to the other sister product that I have, which is definitely more like a lotion. But when my hair was dry, it wasn't crunchy, so I mean, I was pretty satisfied. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I'm going to keep on using it to see what's up with it, you know? I did make sure while spraying that I didn't go overboard and add way too much um, just to make sure to avoid that crunchy feeling that may or may not happen. <laughs> 